Example, solve Laplace of x times sine 3x. Again here, the given function f of x is the product of two elementary functions. First elementary function which is x and third elementary function which is sine 3x. Let me find the Laplace. Solution. I'm going to take sine 3x first, which is the third elementary function. Laplace of sine 3x equals to 3 over a square plus 3 square. I apply the third elementary condition here, which is Laplace of sine ax equals to s or a square plus a square, where my constant a is 3 here. It equals to 3 or a square plus 9. So Laplace of sine 3x equals to 3 or a square plus 9, which is my third elementary condition. Now I'm going to find the Laplace of x times sine 3x where Laplace of x times sine 3x equals to minus 1 times d over dx of 3 or a square plus 9. Again, I applied this formula here, where my x to the n is x. Function f of x is sine 3x. And Laplace of sine 3x, which is f of s, is 3 or a square plus 9. I just derived 3 or a square plus 9. The value of n is 1 here. So let me repeat it again. If you have the function f of x, which is the product of two elementary functions, one is first elementary function and the other is third elementary function, which is sine 3x, you have to apply this formula here. And also, if you have the product of first elementary function and fourth elementary function, derivative of 3 or a square plus 9 with respect to s equals to a square plus 9 times 0 minus 3 times 2s or a square plus 9 to the 2. Again, I applied this formula here, d or dx of u or v, which equals to v du or dx minus u dv or dx over v square. Just apply this rule here. Simplify the equation further, which equals to 6s or a square plus 9 to the 2. That's how Laplace of x times sine 3x equals to 6s or a square plus 9 to the 2.